A group of concerned citizens in Chattanooga is going viral on social media for their projects around the city. They say they're taking matters into their own hands when it comes to fixing some local issues, as Cornelia Nicholson reports. Now, this may seem like a regular bench, but it has a deeper meaning behind it. It's one of dozens that the Chattanooga Urbanist Society plans to build and place throughout the city for anyone to use. We're not a 501c3. We're not a charity. We're just citizens putting into place what we think should be in place, and we're not asking permission. We're just doing it. We spoke to a member of the Chattanooga Urbanist Society who wanted to remain anonymous. He says the group was created by people who were interested in promoting pedestrian and cyclist safety and doing something about it. The city isn't fixing this, so we're going to fix it ourselves. The group started posting videos on TikTok, showcasing their work and receiving millions of views. Their first project was on the Macaulay Avenue Bridge, where a piece of the concrete barrier was missing. The city, whoever's responsible for it, just put up plastic caution tape and a few foldable barriers that fell over quickly. I saw someone walking over that bridge and realized that was a 25-foot drop. The society took matters into their hands and put up a wood barrier until it would get fixed. The day I put up the barrier, four large high-visibility orange barrels went up. Four to five days later, it got fixed. The group now has a new project, benches. It was brought to my attention that the city took down benches from downtown because of houseless people that were loitering on them. Using wood from dumpsters and tools from home, they're creating benches for bus stops and to make a statement. They collaborated with local artist Art for All Peoples to paint their first bench, which now sits in Abbey Crawford Milton Park. You'll see that that bench has a very strong statement. We want people to recognize and notice this isn't a city failing to do what it's supposed to do. It's literally undoing something that it already did, and that really irked us. The group plans to make 55 benches this year, each reflecting the community they will serve and donning their symbol. What I want to show is, is that, okay, if we can't do it with explicit permission, we can do it without it. You can do it yourself. So I'm hoping things will change at a structural level in Chattanooga, but even if they don't, people will have benches to sit on. The Chattanooga Urbanist Society says these benches are just the tipping off point. They plan to start a campaign, paint bike lanes, and protect exposed sidewalks. In Chattanooga, Cornelia Nicholson, Local 3 News.